Hey everyone, it's Jason Cook with the Pillar Group at Remax Advantage. Uh, I just wanted to talk with you a little bit today. If you are moving to Birmingham, what neighborhoods, what suburbs, we're going to do suburbs, should you consider if you are looking to move to Birmingham here in the near future? All of these are going to be between about a 5 and about 20 to 25 minute commute from downtown. So if you're going to work uh, one of the lofts is downtown, one of the banks. We have a lot of um, banks that have hubs here. Um, if you're going to work in healthcare, like at UAB or some of the local hospitals, these are all going to be a pretty, pretty good commute, uh, pretty easy commute for you if you are looking to, uh, to relocate here to Birmingham. So let's start with uh, the first one. The first one is going to be Mountain Brook. Mountain Brook... Uh, is about five minutes outside of downtown Birmingham. It really kind of butts up on the south side of Birmingham to the city limits. Um, it is probably the wealthiest part of the state, in my opinion. Um, and uh, at least definitely the wealthiest part of the city. Uh, you can tell because the average price of a standalone home, a single family home in Mountain Brook is $776,479 in 2019 so um you know a lot of doctors a lot of lawyers people like that are going to move there people with a good bit of money uh, are going to are going to be there it's a historic district so second neighborhood that uh or suburb i would recommend that would be homewood alabama also just outside of uh, of mountain brook homewood uh a lot of people in Birmingham call it like a little Mayberry. Uh, it's got great sidewalks, very walkable. It's got um, a couple of quaint little downtown districts. We'll talk some more about those in a later video. Um, the average price for a single family home in Homewood is $451,000 for 2019. That's up from almost $20,000 from last year. It was four thirty two dollars last year. And uh, it's got a good number of parks. You can see an image behind me, Homewood Park. Uh, you'll see a lot of people out there on Saturdays and Sundays. It's got, of course, the playground for the kids and some green space uh, to kick the soccer ball, to the Frisbee, uh, that kind of thing. Okay, the third uh, neighborhood or suburb that I would uh, tell you to, to look into would be Vestavia Hills, also located, of course, on a hill on another mountain. You wouldn't think Alabama would have this many hills, uh, but Birmingham is actually the tail end of the Appalachian Mountains. So we have uh, a couple of hills. We have Red Mountain, uh, Shades Mountain, which Vestavia Hill sits on top of. And then a little farther south is um, you have Oak Mountain State Park. You have Double Oak Mountain, which is down uh, Highway 280. But uh, in Vestavia, the average home sold for 466000 here in 2019, that was up from 455 from last year. Um, there's, uh, it is just up the hill from Homewood. So if you are heading south on Highway 31 or on Interstate 65, you're going to go Birmingham, then Homewood, then Vestavia, and then the next uh, suburb I'm going to talk about is going to be Hoover. Um, Hoover uh, is. It's just an enormous city. When I was a kid, I grew up here in Birmingham, and uh, it was a smaller, smaller kind of city. All of a sudden, they started annexing all this land, and now Hoover has actually two high schools, not just one. It encompasses uh, a wide swath of the southern part of Birmingham. Actually, the Birmingham-Hoover metropolitan area in the 2010 census made up one quarter of the entire state's population. So. This is, um, Hoover is just a huge city. Uh, it does a lot. Uh, it's got a, a you know, a few neat, uh, few neat things about it. Um, it's got the, uh, SEC baseball tournament it takes place at Regents Park there every year. You have, um, the Galleria, which is just a huge mall, um, and, uh, and Patton Creek Shopping Center, which is, uh, adjacent to that as well. Uh, and that's just on one part of the city. Um, that would be the fourth neighborhood I would tell you to live in. It actually um, tripled the sales of just the city of Mountain Brook um, 
it had 1,331 sales uh, hit this year, and the average price point was 370,000. So it's getting a little bit cheaper, kind of the farther you go out. If you can, you'll kind of notice. So uh, Hoover, because it's so big, there's a lot of building going on. There's a lot of new construction, but there are some older homes as well. You can actually get a pretty good price on a home. Your commute's probably going to be about 20 to 25 depending on what part of Hoover you're in, it could even be 30 minutes uh, if you're really far south in Hoover, but there are places you could be where it's about 20 minutes to downtown. Okay, the last section is not necessarily an incorporated city slash suburb. It's going to be Birmingham, but the Shelby County part, Birmingham actually has uh, a couple of counties. That, um, at least on the south side, there's going to be Jefferson County and Shelby County that you're going to see. You're going to hear a lot of people talk about those two counties. Uh, once you get into Shelby County, um, the public school system in the county, Oak Mountain is, is actually a, a very good school system, and a lot of people choose to live in Shelby County as opposed to like a Hoover um, or another uh, city because the, the property taxes are going to be cheaper. Uh, Oak Mountain, the average uh, sales price for a home in Oak Mountain is three hundred seventy-nine thousand. Um, now that's it's a little bit higher than Hoover, but again, there's going to be a wide range. Uh, you can get anywhere from, you know, in the mid to high 100s all the way up, you know, close to a million dollars, maybe even over a million dollars in some parts. So uh, same thing with Hoover. So you're, you've got kind of a wide range to choose from. But anyway, those are the uh, kind of the five neighborhoods that I would recommend you starting your searches if you are looking to move to Birmingham here in the next uh, year or two. If you have uh, any questions, feel free to reach out to me and uh, you know, leave me a comment. What part of Birmingham are you looking forward to? And if you like this video and want to know more about Birmingham in the next coming months, just subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.